So there is also another case that I just found out and I did not expect it. For this video, I'm going to be talking about two things. One, what I just learned about Chris, his current situation, where he's in right now. And the other thing I do want to talk about is a certain person by the name of James Soroka. Big shout out to both Base Shaman and Repsion, whose recent video just informed me that he has been arrested, which we will get to in a minute. But first, let's talk about Chris Jam. Now, if you've seen my previous two videos, one of them was a reaction video and the other was where I ranted and gave my thoughts on Chris Jan. I just found out there's no secrets that Chris Jan has been arrested for incest with his mother. The charges are fully public. They're on the website. Everybody is talking about it. We all know Chris Jan is officially behind bars at this point. I'm going to be honest, though, I really don't think Chris should be anywhere close to happy about where he is right now because his life is... <laughs> we all saw it coming. I mean, let's be honest. Chris has had a history on the internet of being a complete imbecile, not learning about what he did. For example... In the Too Many K Games convention, at one point, Chris did apologize to everyone he kissed and made uncomfortable. Because keep in mind, he ki he kissed people without their permission. But then he threw it out the window and said, What's wrong with me kissing people? Can't anybody just appreciate a little love from a celebrity or something like that? In all, in all seriousness, this is a clear indication that Chris Jan will never learn or change his ways. And now we reach the point where Christian is at a possibility of being sentenced to prison for I think at from at least at least ten years. At the time of this video, though, the the court hearing has not gone on, so we don't know exactly what's going to happen to Chris in the future. But it is possible Chris will have a long term prison sentence since. What he did is a serious felony, incest to elderly. For some reason, though, on the website, the charges were listed as incest with children or grandchildren, but no children have ever been involved at all. And by that, I mean people under 18, which I know is also a serious offense because it is against, it is against the law to incest with children, but that's not the point. On Barb Chandler... I'm going to be honest, Barb Chandler was not a good parent to Christian at all, and her husband, who passed away in 2011, Christian's dad, Bob Chandler, was kind of a stronger parent in some way, but that's not saying much, because both are poor with how they handled Chris and his behavior. When I heard of the term dementia, I had to look it up, but now I'm finally getting a realization that it is the inability to remember. Because keep in mind, Bart Chandler is in her 80s and at a likelihood of dying soon. Nobody deserves to be sexually assaulted like that. And the problem is, her son never has any, never puts common sense or logic ahead of his actions. And it is possible that Barbara Chandler was not thinking or telling Chris. You know, that's not okay. You cannot do that to your own mother. What Chris did is very disturbing and very uncomfortable to think about. I don't think we ever want to think about what Chris, about the thing. Because I don't want to describe it because it's really disgusting. But even for someone around Bar Barbara Chandler's age, nobody deserves to have to suffer like this. And the problem is Chris Chan with his sexuality, he probably did not know how to handle his fetishes and this resulted in Chris Chan losing self-control to the point to where he did that. Yeah, as common as dementia is for the elderly, I never thought I'd say that I feel bad for Barb Chandler for having be a victim of this. I don't think she was a good parent to Chris Chan at all as I have dealt with people like her in my personal life and they honestly make me really uncomfortable but I do hope Barb Chandler does recover from this who knows but all in all I'm really happy to know 
that Chris Chan is going to get face some serious charges for his actions. And based on his past past actions, like even though he was tricked into having fun with an inflatable blow up doll that he liked to call Julie, alongside of other a billion other disgusting things he's done on the internet. I really hope that Christian gets a serious sentence. Just because he has autism does not give him the right to go out and do all of that. And I will say I have lost complete hope for Chris because he's such a hopeless person. He had 14 years to make changes in his life to understand what to take into consideration for his actions. He had since 2007 to take consideration on what he was doing on the internet and make changes. And he never did that. And now we're at a point to where he is at his own downfall. And now for the other topic. Chris Chan is not the only one to get himself into legal trouble, but there's somebody else that I've also been following around on the internet in the past whose name goes by James Soroka. I first heard about this individual through Bay Shaman and Repsion. I can't exactly remember who I saw first, but they both covered James Soroka's infamous behavior, especially when he was abusing his girlfriend Kate at the time, where he's like saying, fuck you, you can say fuck me all, all you want, but that's all you're trying to do is fuck me, so fuck off or some shit like that. Yeah. Watching James Soroka's behavior kind of reminds me of people that I have dealt with before who behave similarly like that. And I'm not going to mention any names. I don't want to give out their personal identity. But it does take an effect on me when I see James Soroka behave like this. And what I just learned from Repsion's recent video... On James Soroka, he's officially been arrested for hitting his girlfriend Kate, who was pregnant at the time, mind you, three times. And that's really, really saying something. From what I understand from the video, because keep in mind, this also went on the news, and the news video is also on Repsion's video. The police had witnessed uh, Soroka abusing Kate and... James Soroka refused to cooperate with the police. From what I heard, James Soroka is going to be facing at least one year in jail with a bond of $2,500. Correct me if I'm wrong. He's also refused interviews with people from the news media, but they have understood what has been going on. It honestly really made my day knowing people like Christian and James Soroka are finally having justice brought to them. I cannot believe it. Like, wow. This near 40-year-old man-child who's had a long history of acting foolish and idiotic by making stupid videos and falling for people that make fun of him and troll him and never takes consideration or logic behind his actions and has also hurt a lot of people he was close with, including Megan Schroeder, Michael Snyder of the Game Place, even his own parents, because he even was disrespectful to Bob Chandler after he passed away from a heart attack, and recently he hurt his mother, and now he's facing jail time for what he did. That is just one of the greatest things I've heard recently. And now, James Soroka, another psychopathic individual who's infamous for abusing his girlfriend, who is carrying her son because she's pregnant, mind you, and now his abuse is finally backfiring on him. And I have to say, though, one thing I don't like about this situation is the Oklahoma laws, because there was at least some part that Repsan read that said hitting your girlfriend three times while she's pregnant or your significant other or spouse hitting her three times, there was a law that says it's technically not a violent crime. And what? How is hitting somebody, especially your your significant other, carrying your child, how is that not a violent crime? I, I don't know exactly what the laws are, and 
all I know is that that's really messed up, and I'd rather not get into it. But all in all, I'm really happy to know that these two atrocities are finally put behind bars. I at least hope that something will happen to James Soroka while he's in jail. I'll be honest. It's been like a year since I last heard anything from James Soroka, so I assumed maybe he's finally seen the error of his ways and changed his attitude, but he did not. I also heard that he has been scamming people, begging for money and all that, and that is just as disgusting to hear about that. But rest assured, it's great to know that these guys are finally put behind bars. So... What do you guys think? How do you feel knowing that these two clowns are finally are finally in jail and justice is served to them? Let me know in the comments below. It's definitely something that needs needs celebration.